Welcome to the channel. Today we have another awesome haul video. A bit of a, a mixed one. Haul. We got a couple of figures and just a few comics, so it's a smaller yeah. one. We're saving up for cons in the future. Yeah. Uh, then we'll have big hauls for those. Well, because I got really excited because, again, we're new to comic collecting. We've been collecting figures for I don't even know how many years at this point. It's, uh, been, it's been a lot. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out at some point. But, um, I mean, technically, I mean, we found those pictures of, you know, I had some figures like when I was in eighth grade, you know. Yeah. So it's been it's been a long time. But well, uh, it's a collection. That you were a kid. You were Yeah, but I with yeah, but it still uh, technically counts, I think, a little bit. Um I displayed them, I put I'll them never up forget on, the first on the one thing. we ever had. It was oh, one should I show that picture? It's kind of embarrassing. It was one till Mai gave us. It was like a Han Solo. The Han Solo without a helmet, without super a, loose. He was super loose. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, we loved that figure Memories. though. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we probably sold it. Anyway, sad. it is kind of sad. Anyway, so regardless, though, that flea market that I uh, that I went to, what was that, three weeks, two, two or three weeks ago now at this Long point, um, that's kind of our first experience going to a con type thing, um, Specifically picking up comics. comics. And man, I found some great deals. So now I'm super excited to see when we start going to other cons what I can pick up. And what kind yeah. of deals I can get. So, you know, I love, you know, I don't mind paying full price for a book. If it's a good book and it's a book I want and it's in good condition, I don't mind paying full price. It's fine. But it's even better when you get it at a deal. It's always better at a deal. So let's go ahead and, well, before we get into it, I guess, quick reminder, I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers for some sweet books. Including Subscribe. a John Romita signature on the Ultimate Spider-Man 100. All you gotta do is be subscribed, leave a comment. Basically, Girl. that's the, the you know generic version of it but there is a video in the description a link for one anyway and it, with all the details now let's go ahead and hop into the cool stuff so again we'll start with some figures we just got two this week uh, this one we've been needing for a while because we have the rest of them the black ranger I don't, he's just still I, I, halfway in the package no, kind of okay i had trouble opening them so i went ahead and did it so i wouldn't like yeah. struggle on camera but we have the uh, one with the dragon shield. Here's his face. I'm not getting that close to the camera. He comes with, what, one extra hand? Two extra, two extra hands. hands. And what is this? Is this for his... It's for his axe gun. Oh, okay. You forget it's a gun. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, he's got a big old black... It just seems a little egregious, that's all. Hey, is you it gotta actually... make those explosions somehow. Yeah, okay, I guess. So it just connects into the back of that there. Yeah. That's uh, technically the front of no, it. No, for well, the front that you know, it, the whatever of, of, of it, it exists. Uh, yeah, it comes with an extra head. Ah, almost dropped the hand. Which was this here? This brown? I thought it was darker. I don't know. I feel like uh, the lightning collection. That's the one area that they kind of lack in. Is the head like the actual human head sculpts aren't that good. But the rest of the figures are ridiculously amazing. So, very happy to have that uh, complete, kind of, except for apparently they put out a Tanga, the Birdman villain. They have that, so we'll have to pick that up and presume. Well, actually, we don't have Rita still, so we're not complete. We need Rita. Is that and the and the Tanga? Is that it? I think um, for the OG set. I think that's it. We we have a dragon. Yeah, we have a dragon. Yeah, we got dragon. I think Dragon might have been, like, the first one we got, maybe. Nah, no, I think it was other ones. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, second figure we got. Modoc! Modoc. I've been excited about this ever since I saw it uh, was announced. Yeah, <laughs> whenever um, that was. We, I always wanted to build a figure, you know? Cause... Which is pretty sweet. It still, yeah, it's it's still, still nice. stands up. And honestly, I've seen comparisons. Well, people, you know, people get both of them. Whoa. And they're like, uh, well, you know what? They're kind of both as good for different reasons. I like that this one has a different... <laughs> it comes completely disassembled. I kind of want to try to show it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like build a modoc <laughs> Build me, for I am the ultimate killing machine. <laughs> he looks so pitiful like this. Here's your scalp. <laughs> I like his, his hands. Like, yes, it's me. <laughs> Moi. <laughs> have you all watched the Modoc show? I only watched the first two episodes. Oh, yeah, I still haven't watched it. I don't oh, know how face I feel about it. Yeah, I gotta pick. Decisions, decisions. Um, 
I think the open mouth. Open mouth? Here. <laughs> you just know he's making a sound that's like, Mwah! Yeah. Both are fantastic face sculpts, though, I gotta say. Yeah. They look really good. Comes with an extra set of hands. His goofy little legs. Give me that, that butt engine. Oh, it's gotta close them like that. Yeah. This might be the most assembly... Oh, need hair. ...that a figure has ever Where'd needed. Where'd you put the hair? There you go. You know, not counting like a Build-A-Figure, obviously. But, I mean, he, you know, he's kind of, eh, I'd say a little bit bigger than nowadays Build-A-Figure size, you know? Yeah, he's quite big. Get these legs in there. He kind of needs, I mean, I guess he doesn't need these. He just floats around. But aesthetically, he needs these. Oreo is very concerned about these <laughs> boxes. Her ears are perked up. She oh, yeah. A... Let me get that base. Oh, that part pops out. I kind of want to switch his hands so he can hold his little Wait a joystick. minute. I'm you doing something this? wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't feel right. There we go. Modoc. I don't know if I'm going to watch any more of the show or not. He looks uh, surprised. <laughs> he looks sarcastically surprised. Yeah, like I know. Like he told him something really obvious. Like he just like, you know, whatever, did something villainous, like robbed a bank. And the, the Avengers show up and it's like, we have you, MODOK. <gasps> Me? No, I was just walking my dog, you know? I would never. Yeah, I wanted to switch his hands up. I don't know, but then he won't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, but then he can hold his little joystick. Ah, that's true. He has to. Here, while I do that... Yeah, we got some comics. The first comic so we got. this here. one I picked up because I got it for I got it for $5. I didn't know if uh, we had it already. We do. It's First we, Midnight Man. We did have it, but it's a decent little key. Um, it's got some spine ticks and whatever. Potentially could be in the Moon Knight show. Yeah, I don't... Anything's possible in the I don't Moon mind show. picking up, you know, little keys for something that, you know, it might go up in value. Um, and, you know... I like Moon Knight, but he loves Moon Knight. I so love me some. Moon had to Knight. pick up this because it was it was just you know a cheap book. I was like, ah, why not? And then after that, the rest of these aren't really cheap books, but they're they're pretty good books. Grasp, firm it graspably in your hand. This one is one I've been looking for firm for a while. It. it is Young Avengers number six. This is first stature, super hot key, super cool cover. I love the negative space of the white background. Um... And yeah, I mean, Young Avengers keys are just great keys to pick up right now. You can't see me! It was unfortunate. <laughs> we got a little bit... We got a little bit of a Young Avengers run, but we're m missing most of the big ones. It didn't have a number oh, he's one. very forward heavy. There is another number nine, which is the first uh, Kate Bishop in uh, costume. Cover, anyway. And I really like that cover. I have two already. But I'm tempted to pick up another one just because it's a cool book. Then, I don't know if y'all noticed, or heard rather, but God Country uh, got picked up, I forget by who, but I guess it's either going to be you know a movie or a TV show or something, so I got the first print. That's going to be pretty neat. I haven't read this book yet. I have the full trade, so I will be reading it soon, uh, but I love Donny Kate's work, so I'm excited for this. Uh, even <laughs> even without having read it yet, I've heard really good things about it. So I definitely will be reading this one, and I'm happy that I was able to pick up a first print. Because they, they've gone up a little bit in price. They haven't like really skyrocketed yet, because I don't think it's, you know, it's not a big Marvel or DC property yeah. or something. Not but like Spider-Man. Once, once it starts uh, moving in a direction, and I really hope it's good. I really hope it's not like Jupiter's Legacy and it gets canceled after one season, although I did like Jupiter's Legacy. Fair note. But um, And then also picked up, I think this is the 25th anniversary of Image variant, I think is what it's called. Uh, just I, you know, it was the two books we had in the shop, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy these if that's okay. And, yeah, so... Which, funnily enough, I know a bit about God Country because I've been reading Crossover, which features Valifax, the big sword that's on the cover there. Um, and this is the last one, right? This is the yep. big one. So this is a book I honestly didn't think we'd be getting anytime soon. Anytime soon, like, yeah. at all. Because it's an older, hard-to-find book. And the condition, 
you know, is it great? something neat about it. There's a stamp at the very top of it, or the date. Oh, yeah. I actually hate stamps, but July I'll deal 8th, with it. July 8th, 1969 is when it was stamped. Yeah, th- they used to do that. I mean, that is... I mean, that's... Yeah, it's an old, old book. Um, so, without further ado, X-Men 60. You got your first Sauron here. I was kind of looking at this cover right before I handed it to you, and Sauron's 100%. I haven't read it 100% turning that one guy on the cover into a dinosaur. I'm convinced. Yeah, well, I mean... with dinosaur rays. <laughs> Yeah, but we're big fans of Sauron. The He's goofy. Build a figure's great. He's a nerd. I don't know if I would actually want to get this one graded. He's I might leotard. just display it raw and then put the build a figure next to it. Um, because this is a book that I've thought about being like, oh, this would be so cool to have next to the, the Sauron build a figure because we like to put our figures and, and comics together. But I was like, man, this book's so expensive and in high grades. It is a very... I mean, this is a mid-grade, and it's still $75. It's not a cheap book, not an easy book to find. And, like I said, I mean, I'm just excited that I it, it came through the shop. And I, <laughs> I was like, that one's got to come home with me. As long as it's... Well, if it wasn't high-grade, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford it, honestly. But the fact that it was, you know, more of a mid-grade meant that... I, I could get it. Somebody's being needy over here. It's me. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's Modoc. Look at this. Look at you this. You know what Modoc needs? Modoc needs you to subscribe <laughs> and enter our comment giveaway. Yeah. So I did want to mention real quick that we <laughs> I, that Modoc died, and we will be having a funeral next weekend. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> on a more serious note, um, like I said, or like Chris said, I think, um, we're going to be kind of slowing down on our purchases, um, yeah, because we're, we're trying up. to save up money for the cons and, and stuff And then like we'll that. have big hauls. Yeah, hopefully, unless they're a complete bust. But <laughs> Which I doubt. I'll, if I'll they buy, are, I'll then that, we'll just go buy something somewhere else. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, Make you know, up for it with online purchases. I'm always going to be looking for deals, and if I find deals, I'll pick them up. There's a book that just came in the shop today that I'm really excited about that I'll definitely be buying. So you'll be seeing that. I don't know if it'll be next week. might be the week after. I don't know. I'll save it for some kind of video. Make sure to get a clump of stuff together to, to have a good little showing. But uh, yeah, we might not be doing the whole videos every weekend moving forward. Um, just whenever we have stuff. Yeah, kind of, you know, I don't want to be just like, ah, we picked up two things, here you go. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I want it to be like, you know, exciting and a bunch of cool stuff But if you make me once. wait like three weeks to open something, I'm going to fight you. Yeah, so, you know, we might do a video and I have a black eye and Chris <laughs> might, you know, be missing a tooth, but <laughs> we'll have a cool video <laughs> for you. But I don't know, if, if that's the case, we might do something else or we might just not do a vid- yeah. Sunday, Sunday video, I don't know. We haven't figured out that part yet, but like I said, we're just trying to save up money and, um, you know, have some money to go to the cons and stuff. So unless you want to just send us random money, then we're probably going to help us out online. by subscribing. Well, it doesn't help us financially. It could eventually. If you want to help us financially, you can buy some of my prints on my Etsy shop. Yeah? If they yeah. subscribe enough. I mean, yeah, if you can get a million people to subscribe, then that'll help us too. That'd be impressive. <laughs> But um, I think yeah, we'd probably owe them a debt. Yeah, I, I, I'd make you a really good grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, I I, ma- I make cheese. really good grilled cheese sandwiches. Just so you know. I mean, anyway, I'm talking like with ham with like three or four different types of cheeses. I'll hook you up. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying okay. That's gonna be it for today. Um, say goodbye, waffle. Goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye, Modoc. <laughs> goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!